No Man's Sky is a comeback king when it comes to gaming. The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. But is getting the platinum worth it? Or is it as disastrous as its launch back in the day? Today we're gonna find out. Hi, I'm the fastest hunter on YouTube. And with my series Road to Platinum, I'll show you exactly how fast that is. My name is Stefano and that's all you need to know. Welcome to Road to Platinum. No Man's Sky was released back in 2016 and many people were excited for it. It was until they played the game and found out that the game was horrible. With a disastrous launch, everybody hated on Hello Games. Hello Games, however, kept working on it, despite all the hate, and are known to this day as the comeback kings of gaming, with No Man's Sky being an amazing game nowadays. Before we dive into the trophies, there's a few things to know. I already collected some of these back in the day, so not everything has to be done. The things that are left to do consist of 7 base things we have to max. During maxing these milestones, you will earn some trophies as part of the progress. The 7 things are getting rich, learning the alien alphabet, talking a lot, discovering alien life and uploading the planet fully, surviving an X amount of time on an extreme planet, visiting a lot of galaxies and destroying some ships. Now you'll know what's ahead, so let's dive into the trophies. When we started the game up, we found out that the only save file that was left was the one way back in 2016. I still have a loaded save. Uh, I'm not gonna start completely new as well. I have done it a lot and the beginning of No Man's Sky is a bit boring. We start out by focusing on anything we can. Never just doing our own thing for a little bit and doing some quests. We accumulated enough to earn over 2 million units, which results in us getting rich. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just selling this. There we go, Diamond Age, I knew it. Reached 2.4 million and that's enough for the gold trophy. So, all right, we did money now. Not long after, we learned some new words through relics. No, no, go away. I don't want your kind, fuck you. No, 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 we're good. To max out our grammar for the next trophy. Oh, what the fuck? Apparently I know enough words now, all right. No, leave me alone. So we got those two very fast, but now the real grind begins. We try to upgrade our character and buy ourselves an S tier ship to make some things easier. During these grinds, we reach the quota for walking and get the trophy for it. Hey, we walked enough. Yeah. We now find ourselves in a grind process in order to get the remaining trophies. That process goes a little like this. We start off on a planet with not too much wildlife. We're aiming for six, seven, and maybe even two. The wildlife is also known as fauna. We scan around and try to find all the fauna on this planet. Hey. Rare ground always. And once we do, we upload the planet. This is for the Galapagos trophy. And we have to upload 10 planets total. After we did a planet, we went back into space and traveled to another galaxy for the Space Odyssey trophy. Once we find ourselves in a new system, we see if there are any pirate shenanigans going on for the Forever War trophy. If there are any, we take care of them. Fucking hell man, it's one. And land on a new planet to repeat the process. This goes on for a little bit. Some loops longer than the others. Because of the way how animals spawn. As when there's one underground, they are a bit of a pain in the ass to reveal themselves. But that's it, that's it, that has to be it, yeah. Nice, what the fuck? It's not even underground, but sure. But after a while, we get two trophies for the wildlife. <laughs> and upload our 10th planet for the last one. Easy. Stupid ass, fucking long fucking trophy, but easy. But during these loops, we also get the silver trophy for the ships destroyed. Yes. Hey! With the last of the trophies, our loops get a bit different. But before we do that, we find out about the truth of the Sentinel Trophy. You see, in order to get this, you have to survive an amount of time on planets with extreme weather or extreme sentinels. To find any of these planets, we should scan a planet for either aggressive sentinels or activated materials, as this indicates an extreme planet from outer space. And all that is left to do is just to land there and survive the amount of time is needed. How much is it you ask? They use minutes, and one minute in-game is one second in real life. So all this build up, but how long does it take? It 
takes fucking 43,000 minutes to get this trophy or 43,000 seconds in real life. To put that into perspective, 43,000 seconds correlate to about, well, 11.9 fucking hours. So 12 hours for just surviving a planet. What the actual fuck? At first I thought I had to keep my shields up, as otherwise I'll die. So I just have to put on a movie or something to keep an eye out. But thinking about it, it didn't really seem like a smart way, because it's still a long time. So, after some research, people say to just hide in a man-made cave, and just to come back after the time has passed. But what I found is that hiding in a cave made the time not go up. So, I thought it was patched. So I struggled around for a little bit, for like half an hour. And after some fucking around on the planet, I found out that when my protective shield is empty, and I go inside the cave the strat worked and the time goes up without anything going down so the next thing i did was to go back into the cave and well uh, now i'm gonna go to the next day i woke up and i saw that the trophies had popped you didn't think i recorded the whole time did you know? then there were only two more things left to do which resulted in three trophies destroying ships and discovering galaxies so the loop was going to a new galaxy finding some pirates to kill and getting my ass to a new galaxy oh i forgot to mention during all this i upgraded my hyperdrive so it wouldn't consume as much energy every time but in the end this process was quite boring as well in order to find a new galaxy you just open the map select one and warp towards it through a loading screen and ta-da you added one and how many galaxies do we have to find you may ask 75 you have to go through 75 loading screens. It still takes some time, even on a PS5. Fun. And after an hour or so, it's just loading screens. Which is not that bad. Could have been worse. The trophy pops. Yeah, come on. There he is, the Space Odyssey. Oh wait, shit. I still have to do... <laughs> I still have to fight some ships. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot about the ship one. Whoops. Your brain gets a bit fried from doing this shit. Anyway, we destroyed the last of the ships for the prestigious Platinum. Ah, we did it. Here he comes. Total perspective vortex. Oh, God. It was a terrible, terrible Platinum. Oh, we did it. Ooh, fuck this shit. Haha, <laughs> bitches. No Man's Sky has 23 trophies to earn the Platinum. The game itself is amazing and has gone a long way from the start. But after enduring this Platinum, I'm happy it's over. It's not that bad compared to a lot of grinding Platinums in the world, but it still isn't great. A trophy for literally going through loading screens is never any fun. You do feel that the Platinum is outdated to what the game has to offer nowadays. Do I recommend the Platinum experience? Well, I will give the experience a 4 out of 10, meaning absolutely not. If you want to play this game, just enjoy what the game has to offer. And it's a lot, trust me. The Platinum will come by itself, if you're just playing it and not focusing on it. Yeah, it does take like double the amount of time probably. But it's better than just mindlessly going into loading screens for some times, as this game does deserve attention. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, even though the Platinum wasn't that exciting. Let me know what you want to see next, down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.